Hey everybody. Tonight I was having me looking at some prices on used computer components on eBay. And I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a little tip for those who are out looking for used components. Here's an example. For the search we have a socket force n8 CPU. We're looking we're just looking at Intel P4s and Celerons. And the thing I want to note when you look going out looking for more or less any used component in general on places like eBay you definitely gotta watch out for those who don't really have a clue about computer components and how to sell computer components here's a good example let's look to some CPUs here here we go up here at top we have a lot of 6 Pentium 4's 1.6 to 3 gig socket 4's 98 no reserve 0 bids 995 buy it now 2495. Here's a single 1.8 gig for 595. Two Intel Pentium 4 2.66 gig processors for 595. <clears throat> Here we have a 3 gig P4 Prescott SL7PM for 1495. We have a 3.0 gig Prescott P4 including the cooler <clears throat> and what appears to probably be some thermal paste for $22.95 <clears throat> here we have a 3.4 gig Northwood Intel Pentium 4 for $25 we have a Pentium 4 M CPU 2.2 gig it's a Northwood for starting out at 99 cent we have a lot of 19 Pentium 4 2.8 gig CPUs for $84.99. Not too bad for that many proce processors now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Here's a P4 2.8 gig, which is the Prescott for $9.95. We have an old 1.6 gig CPU for $199. Scroll down a little bit. <clears throat> here's one we have to watch out for this person here obviously don't know much about computers he looks like he evidently read these specs from Windows because there is no such thing as a 3.06 gig CPU it is a 3 gig CPU it's a Northwood the guy wants buy it now $40 which is a ripoff for a 2002 compliant CPU and here it is late 2010 <clears throat> Let's see. The three here's okay. It's basically a three gig. Right down here is a three gig, which is this is a little different. But look, twelve ninety nine. That that's a little more reasonable. Here's a P four two point five three gig CPU for eleven ninety five. Here we have a lot of twenty two point fours. For twenty nine ninety nine, that's a good deal. Here's a P four three gig five twelve eight hundred. This is a Northwood for sixteen ninety five. Celeron two point two gig for nine dollars. P four one point eight gig for five ninety five. Lot of forty two point eight gigs for one hundred seventy dollars. Let's scroll down some more. Let me show you guys the biggest ripoff of them all on this page. Intel Pentium 4, 2.8 gigahertz, 800 megahertz, 1 megabyte, so it's a press cut. $75.99. Now, how ridiculous is that? Is that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, how ridiculous is that? 75 bucks for a 2002 compliant CPU or 2003 compliant CPU. Let's go over to Newegg.com and look at some prices of some new AMD processors. <clears throat> See that guy wanted $75.99 for that CPU. Here's a Phenom 2 dual core 545, 3 gigs, socket AM3 processor for the same price, OEM. Now, common sense will tell you, should you get that old Pentium 4 or should you get that? I mean, you're paying the same price with free shipping. 
See, $75.99 free shipping. Or $75.99 free shipping. Obviously, common sense tells you this is a much better deal. <clears throat> so you definitely gotta watch out when you're looking for these CPUs. I think this here is the biggest ripoff of all. And notice here, here's a store, Computer Surplus Outlet on eBay. They obviously took the description from an old web page from like, I don't know, 2003 to make it look as if this was a really powerful CPU when it's not all that impressive. It's good for, let's say, a refurb machine, but no, it's not really all that impressive. <clears throat> now, let's look at some motherboards. Let's see, socket force and eight motherboards. Here we go. Brand new motherboard, DFI, socket 478, Intel 845G, $44.95. I don't care if it is new, it's 2002 compliant, it's old. Intel D875 PBZ, any of four, socket 478, ATX motherboard used. The guy wants $70 or best offer. Total ripoff. Brand new motherboard, Biostar P4 TP. Socket 478 inbox, $44.95. Don't care if it's new, still, it's old. Old technology, anyways. But here's something that's more of a decent deal Intel Socket 478 Pentium 4 motherboard, set of two for $10. Let's check this out. Okay, this is for parts not working. So, that's why it's so cheap. But here, look at this. Lot of 9A open AX45-V socket 478 motherboards with iron shield plates for $100. Now, that's a decent deal. You're getting 9 motherboards. You're paying more or less $11 a piece. Somewhere in that ball field. For each motherboard and a whole lot. There's a lot of th 13 compact motherboards for $150. That's still pretty decent, considering how much you're getting. Now, let's look at motherboards on Newegg. And of course, we're going to look at some basic AMD motherboards again. <clears throat> Because the new Intel boards are just so expensive nowadays. Let's look at socket AM3 motherboards. <clears throat> I mean, here's just starting out. Here's some Microatex motherboards for around fifty dollars. I mean, some of these motherboards are fairly rich in features. Here's an Ace Rock with eSATA 3, SATA 3, um, USB 3.0, AMD 770, which, remember, has a SATA 6 gig. So it's got the new technology. 7499. Pretty good deal. Here we have another AMD 770 board from ASUS. $79.99. You can also get a rebate with it. Here's a Foxconn motherboard with the AMD 890GX chipset. $84.99. It also has to say 6 gig. Not sure about USB 3. <clears throat> Here's an Ace Rock. It has the USB 3. And this is an AMD 880G based motherboard for $84.99. MSI 870U G55. 
This is more or less an older version of my board. A999. I managed to, by the way, speaking of my main board, I was able to get it on sale for around 70 something bucks. So, anyways, just a quick little warning up for you guys that are looking for used components. Watch out for those who don't know much about computers so they don't get ripped off. And just to summarize the old. <clears throat> Overall, I just want to give you guys a little warning about those people out there on eBay. Some of them don't really know how to sell computer components and don't get ripped off by them people. Just want to show you guys some similarities between those ripped off prices versus the prices on Newegg. Anyways, any questions or comments, let me know.